everybody, it's Sam from Cavi and welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to be talking you through the kind of ultimate CNC size guide. Um, as I say, it's a guide, but we're just going to try and explain um, how much space you can kind of give your guinea pigs if you can. Um, these are the kind of different CNC cages that you'll usually find if you are trying to buy a CNC cage, but these ones, these ones in particular, I'll be talking about are from Cavi. Um, I'm obviously not alone. I do have two little guests behind me having a little nibble. Um, they're currently in our 6x2 CNC cage um, without the lid or the stand, obviously, as well. Um, they're just going to kind of be hanging around, but I know they're adorable, but this bit's important, so pay attention to me. So <laughs> we're going to be talking everything space today. So not space as in up there, but space as in all around us and how much space you can give your guinea pigs if you can. So um, we're going to go through the CNC grids that we have here. I put it in picture format, so not only is it easy for me, but it's easier for you. <laughs> um, so we have the three by two CNC cages. Uh, when I say uh, three by twos, I mean quantity of kind of grid sizes. So I mean that there's three grids at the front and two down the side. So three by two. And when I say grids, I mean each grid by itself. So each square is 35 centimeters. So lots of dimensions going around here. So 35 centimeters, so a three by two, let's say is the equivalent of an eight foot squared. Um, it's like 105 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So I'm not gonna go through each number each time because my head will explode but you get the general idea so when I go from three by twos um, we kind of say that that's suitable for one guinea pig but as we know if you have one guinea pig don't do it to yourself or them get yourself another one um, it's definitely worth absolutely having a second guinea pig they have more better companionship and they're less lonely and they'll be less sad so but the space of a three by two is not big enough to house two guinea pigs so this is only a temporary solution if you've got a guinea pig that's maybe pregnant or they need to quarantine, uh, three by twos are your way around that one. And then we go on to the four by two, which I said is more suitable for two guinea pigs, um, specifically, usually, two female guinea pigs. Uh, this is equivalent to 10 foot squared as well in the space there. We say two females because two males are a little bit more territorial and they want a bit more space. So then we kind of size wise optimal will recommend the five by two, which is 12 foot squared and is either three female guinea pigs or two male ones, like we said before. And then we have the six by two, the absolute palace behind me, uh, is suitable for four guinea pigs and that is 14 foot squared too. So that is a wonderful space, uh, unless you have two guinea pigs just like us and you just want to give them some wonderful more space just to kind of run around. Um, guinea pigs really love having the additional space. I mean, it helps with boredom. You'll kind of find that um, guinea pigs are a lot more stressed when they're a bit bored. Uh, it also helps with a bit of exercise. There's more things to kind of run around and have a look for. And it kind of helps with fighting as well. So there's less space to kind of try and own in a way. So there's lots more space to kind of go. So if you can give your guinea pigs a bit more space, then absolutely go for it. This is just what we recommend as the minimal sizes. Um, if you think, oh, I have got two guinea pigs actually, or two females, and I would like to give them a bit of extra space. Obviously you can go for the five by two or the six by two, but this is just a kind of little guide for you to follow if you're thinking of getting a CNC cage. Um, and that way, when you kind of see it all happening behind you and they seem more happier, you seem happy too. So it's a little bit like a like happy love all round for your guinea pigs. Um, the good thing about CNC cages is as well as they are modular, so you can kind of take them down um, if you need to move them around or anything like that. You can increase at any point that you want to. So if you already have a four by two and you're watching this like, oh my gosh, I can give them more space, I should do that. Uh, you can absolutely just increase by the grids. So because they're so modular, you can just take a connector out, pop another one in and close it up again. So definitely do that if that's what you're thinking of doing. Um, but as we said, guinea pigs love additional space, so just have a little think about it if you want to. As I said, these ones are the particular ones that are on the cavi. There's more information that you can find on our website and our blog as well, so you can definitely have a look at that one, um, because I'm very rambly, so <laughs> you'll get all the dimensions and things like that as well on our website, so check that out. It'll be in the description box below. Um, but for that one, that's our kind of guide recommendation thing, so you can have a look at that one. There's more videos on CNC cages all around, so have a look at those too. But for now, hopefully, I'll see you all for the next one. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye!